We bring you live here inside Patterson Ice Center on this second day of October as the Chippewas have journeyed an hour and a half southwest to Grand Rapids, Michigan to take on the team they obliterated only a night ago. Hello and welcome inside the broadcast booth high atop the grandstand here at Patterson Ice Center. My name is Reagan Cleves. I am thrilled to have you along for this series finale between the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Davenport Panthers. Well, last night was a story of success for the Central Michigan Chippewas as they poured on 10 goals uh, on the Davenport Panthers, winning by a final score of 10 to one. Jordan Cooper getting two goals in that one along with Jay Nadu, um, Brennan Martin, Isaac Gibbs, Owen Campbell, uh, Keelan Baker, Brennan Martin, and uh, Chapman and Christopher Martin, all of them getting into the action uh, on the goal sheet at least to put the Chippewas at a 1-0 record this season as it's a good start to the season for them. They hope to continue that success here tonight against the Davenport Panthers once again, but this time on their home ice. Taking a look after that uh, after that game yesterday, taking a look around the uh, MCHC East Division, Adrian and Adrian, Michigan, Michigan, Fl or University of Michigan, Flint, all of them have not played a game. So right now the Chippewas sit third overall in the MCHC East, and the teams they sit behind are Lawrence Tech, who is 3-0. Their next game is next weekend against Kelvin and Oakland sits at two and one they play today at svsu and who sits at zero and one so they are uh, the only uh, only uh, four teams in the east division that have played games thus far and of those central michigan sits third overall with two points and a one and zero record uh, again all the teams in the mchc east uh, the Chippewas will play this season. They will play Adrian toward the uh, middle of the season. Lawrence Tech and Oakland at the end of the season. Uh, Michigan, or U of M Flynn is coming up soon here in the next month or so. Well, taking a look at the two teams on the ice tonight. Central Michigan comes into today with a record of 1-0, two points, and as we mentioned earlier, third overall in the MCHC East. Last year, they had a winning record on the road, though it was just one above 500. They were 3-2 and two away from Martin Ice Arena, and they look to continue that uh, winning record here this season and start off the road campaign We're on a high note here against the Panthers this afternoon. As for Davenport, they sit 0-1 in the overall with no points, and they sit smack dab in the middle of the MCHC West division. Uh, none of the teams around them have played a game. Davenport is the only one. So they sit at fifth, being the only team to have uh, to have any points, or rather lack of points, uh, in that conference. Moving on here uh, to the series history. Well, obviously the last game between these two clubs was last night at Martin Ice Arena, in which Central Michigan won 10 to one. We mentioned that earlier in with CMU, they continued their dominance against these Panthers since the 12, since the 13-14 uh, season. They're now eight and two with eight consecutive wins. Uh, they have <laughs> they outshot their or they outscored their opponent with or by nine last night, and that moves their plus minus in those ten games to a an astounding plus 70. And again. Davenport has not won a game since about since over eight years ago, back in September of 2013. Uh, so, taking a look at the scratches for uh, Central Michigan, it's the same skater scratches for the Chippewas, Luke Wild and Darsh Keshiap, both out. Uh, the forwards have been scratched from the lineup, but the goaltending scratches have been flipped. Uh, Thomas Rofi, the starter and the winner of last night's contest, uh, is not dressed tonight. And Lauren Jones has flip-flopped as well. So it'll be Joel Drucker and Colin Smith dressing tonight 
in the pillows for the Chippewas. Players to watch for tonight, Jordan Cooper, who had two goals last night, Brendan Martin and Christopher Martin, the two brothers, uh, both got two points with Martin getting two goals and or, with Brendan getting two goals and Christopher having a goal and an assist. As for Davenport, Aiden Dion last season had through 12 games had eight goals and 10 assists, giving him 18 points on the campaign. And uh, another player to watch out for, as we saw last night, Kevin Crowley was all over the ice for the Panthers and he is still in search of his first point of the campaign. Last season, he had six goals, 10 assists, and 16 points. Moving on to the keys to the game for the Central Michigan Chippewas. They need to not let up. Davenport had a rough go of it last night. Part of that was helped on by their smaller roster, only 16 uh, players, 14 of which are skaters. And so they will be uh, coming out of the gate hard against the Chippewas here today. The uh, Central Michigan needs to bear down, not let them uh, get the first goal and do exactly what they did last night. Get the uh, first goal of the contest and pre preferably early. And that way they can get up and get some, get the momentum rolling in their favor in addition to what they are carrying over from last night. Um, Another thing they need to do is they can't get burned by the penalty kill. Last night they went three for three on the penalty kill, which is a good part and start to the season. But uh, as we mentioned earlier, they did not have the best power play last season. So they need to keep uh, that momentum from game one going. And they need to be able to uh, shut down that Davenport, uh, that, that Davenport power play. And uh, they can't get burned on that PK here tonight. They need to stay strong when they are shorthanded. One final thing, they can't get thrown off by the chippiness of Davenport. We saw it toward the end of the game last night where Davenport kind of ramped up the, phys the physicality of the hockey game. The later they got, the further they fell behind. Uh, there were a couple of uh, hard hits that led to a misconduct on John Lizziness, uh, as well as a a lot of power plays for Central Michigan. They ended up going two for five last evening, but uh, the Chippewas can't let that chippiness and that physicality get underneath their skin, even if it is a little bit late or dirty, or even if it is clean. They can't let that get under the skin. They need to get, they need to stay focused. They need to bear down and get past Davenport here tonight. This should be again another. This is a. This should be another win on paper. We're not going to jinx it, but. <laughs> after we saw last night, Chippewas have a high chance of winning this hockey game and they can't uh, they can't lose focus here tonight. Well, that will do it for our pregame show today. We will be right back with the Anthem starting laps and first period action for you on the other side. You're listening to CMU D3 Club Hockey on CCHN.
Starting old tenders tonight for the Central Michigan Chippewas. Colin Smith takes the pipes for his first ever game as a Central Michigan Chippewa. And for the Panthers, another uh, first start. It's Shade Shearer in net to our right. Central Michigan will go from left to right across your red hood aisle wearing their road maroon uniforms with, mar with gold helmets, uh, gold Central Michigan across the front, uh, gold stripes on the... Uh, now, for the trim on those jerseys, maroon pants and maroon socks. Davenport will send their will send their offense right to left, wearing their home white uniforms with red shoulders, or with black shoulders and red trim, red numerals and red, black and white trim on the bottom of those black pants with a red stripe on the bottom and white socks. For the Central Michigan Chippewas, they send out Campbell, Moore, Martin. Uh, Gibbs and Whaley while the Panthers send out Hofstetter, Calso, Dion, and Shaw. And, uh, and as well, Crowley. We've got 20 minutes on the clock. Puck drop at center just about set. It's Hofstetter and Owen Campbell digging in for the draw at center ice. And we are underway here from Patterson Ice Center. The Central Michigan Chippewas win the faceoff and will go back into their own end. On the breakout here, here's Keegan Moore sends it near side. A pass across, it catches Whaley. Austin Whaley over the line, left side. He'll pull up a shot saved by Shearer, and the rebound is controlled by the Panthers. Calso up left wing, dances around the linesman and is, and is across the line, left side. A pass in front, bounced around, and it still is. Comes up to the slot, a one-time shot save, and the rebound. That shot came off of the stick of Aiden Dion, and the Chippewas are back the other way. Here's Campbell over the line, toe drags into the slot. He's taken down, but a second chance opportunity! And the Chippewas score! Isaac Gibbs picked up the loose puck in the bottom of the left circle. And the Chippewas are up by one. Just 43 seconds into this one. Isaac Gibbs getting his second goal as a Chippewa. He got one in the victory last night. Pouncing on that one early to put the Chippewas up by one. Now the puck is played back in the Davenport end. Loose puck is picked up. Now a pass out in front. So 43 seconds into this one. Gibbs from Campbell on just Central Michigan's second shot of the afternoon. Now a loose puck in the slot, and the Panthers can't get it through. Has a good screen in front. Smith was down and out. Now moving up the right wing. A pass in front was intercepted by the Panthers in the defensive end, and they'll move right to left. Here's Chance Bradley across that line. Left side lost the puck in the Chippewas control. Back in their own end. Picking that up is Jordan Cooper. Had two goals in the win, la in the win last night. Cooper across the Davenport logo at center. He's across that line. Oh, work in a shot from the left circle. Ripped high. Now, and that comes off just barely as Jared Kiefer came sliding into the net. Knocked it off of its moorings. Now, there's a quick whistle by the referees. The Davenport Panthers were back the other way on a rush. But even though the net was off and it wasn't going to affect play, they blew the whistle nonetheless. 1.43 gone here in this opening period. Drawn to the left of Shearer's, won by the Chippewas. Jay Nadu works behind to the far corner. He'll pass it up top, taking it. There's Chapman. Hold, take it up and fire a shot off the glove of Shearer. Puck comes free behind the net. Chippewas are able to come out with that. It's worked up top, right point Chapman across. And worked back down low, but it's intercepted. And the Panthers are back the other way. Pass ahead to Kiefer, left wing. He's across that line. Oh, worked down into the hash marks. A shot deflected out in front. But the Chippewas were able to control the loose puck and send it out to center ice. 7.43 to go here in this opening period. Chippewas lead it 1-0 off of a goal. 43 seconds in by Isaac Gibbs on a second chance off of the initial shot from Owen Campbell. Two rookies. Getting in there, that looked to be offside, but a shot saved in the rebound. That came from the left point off of the stick of Andrew Porzondek. Now over the line for the Panthers. Gottfriedson lost the puck, and the Chippewas regained control defensively. Pass out to neutral ice was intercepted, and Gottfriedson will take it. He's taken down at center ice, and the Panthers send it in behind Colin Smith. 
He'll put a halt to that puck behind his own net. And he'll send it to the near side. Working out here is Owen Campbell. He couldn't get control of the puck. But the Chippewas still gain control. Out to center ice. A pass across the Davenport logo. Went errant and the Panthers will pick it up. Now they give it away. Now working in here is Brennan Martin. Martin behind the net. Tried to shovel pass in front. Loose puck. is go around in the right corner by the Panthers. They are get it to the line but not out. Puck comes up in the air. Gloved down there by Gazdecki but it's out to center. Here's a breakaway for Aiden Dion. Down the left side. One Chippewa back and a good defensive play. There by Keegan Moore. Now loose puck on the top of the slot is taken away by the Chippewas, but they get it to the far line and not out. Good keep there by Hunter Tolsdorf. Three and a half minutes gone here in period number one. Panthers still do not have a shot on goal in this contest. Chippewas, on the other hand, only ha or have four already. Now working it over the left line of the Panthers, but they can't get it further than that, and they'll have to regroup back at their own end. Panthers traveling right to left here in this opening period of play. A pass ahead goes on to the stick of Dion. Dion let a shot, or pardon me, that's Lizziness. He let a shot go. It was turned aside by Smith. It's wrapped around the boys to the near side. A big hit from behind, and that will sure to be a penalty here against Montana Gottfriedson. And there's some extracurriculars as he took Gazdecki hard to the boards. Looked like an elbow in the back. And so Montana Gottfriedson is sent off here. 4-12 into this opening period, putting the Chippewas on a power play. So Gottfriedson goes off. The officials are conferencing over in front of the scores table across the way. They'll see what they're going to give Montana Gottfriedson here. Panthers have gotten that first shot on goal. So it's five on four for the Chippewas here. A five minute major. This should be an all you can eat power play for the Chippewas. This season, they are two for five. So 40% on the season. Bunched up hard against the boards is, is Isaac Gibbs. Four twelve in the first in the first period. Gottfriedson goes off five minutes for a board, and we have an offsides call here against the Chippewas across the way. So it'll be a five-minute major against Gottfriedson for boarding on Aiden Gazdecki. Four forty-three left in that. Man advantage for the Chippewas. Davenport wins the draw at center ice. It's batted down, but the Chippewas regain control back in their own end. Near side, it's taken by Austin Whaley. We'll play catch with Christopher Martin. A head on left wing, moving it down low. Here's a pass out in front off of the stick of Porzondek, but it was deflected into the near corner. Campbell picks it up. Campbell dropped pass into the circle. It was kept at the line, though, as Davenport tried to clear. Across the way, it's taken a shot. That was rifled high off of the stick of Isaac Gibbs, bidding for his second goal of the night. Owen Campbell picks it up at right wing. I'll move it across to the stick of Christopher Martin. Hold his shot, goes save, and the rebound loose in the right circle. A one-time shot off of the stick of Campbell, and the rebound loose at the side of the net. And the net comes off of its moorings once again. So for another stoppage of play, 348 left in that man advantage for the Chippewas. One-nothing, the Chippewas lead at 6-1 in shots. Gottfriedson still in the box for another three minutes and 48 seconds. We're 5.24 into this one. Draw on the left circle, one by the Chippewas. They'll go to work on the power play here. Near side, it's taken by Martin. A shot through traffic, and it's gloved down by Shearer for another halt to play. On the left wing circle, digging in for the Chippewas. For the Panthers, it'll be Cam Hofstetter. It's won by the Panthers, trying to get it out here on the penalty kill. 
Moving it near side, they do manage to get it out, but it's corralled at center by the chips. Moving out left to right here on this power play. Three and a half to go in that man advantage. Over the line, it's shoveled down low into the corner, but it's given away. Panthers hold it behind there, that puck comes free. It's corralled by the Chippewas. Up to Brennan Martin, right point. He'll send it across, a one-timer shot. That went wide of goal, but it ricochets out the near side. Martin keeps it in at the line, but he'll take it back out as two Panthers we're gutting that line. Three minutes to go here in the man advantage. Jordan Cooper over the line right side. We'll wrap it around the boards across the way. It's taken over there. Alex Lasky down low. Chippewas corral it in the offensive end here. Up to the top of the circle. Lasky takes it left point. Old dance around, send it near side off the boards to Brennan Martin. He'll play it down low to Cooper. Right, Cooper will hold top of the right circle, working with a slot, a shot, big block there by Cam Hofstetter with the body there. Now a shot from the high slot off of the stick of Brennan Moore. His glove down by the catching glove on the right hand of Shade Shearer. Six forty-six gone here in the opening period of play. Chippewas got a goal 43 seconds into this one. 2.24 left on the man advantage and the Panthers take it and lift it down the ice. Taking it back in his own zone here is Christopher Martin. Martin will lead the rush left to right here for the Chippewas. Ahead on left wing to McComas. McComas working in to, into the right corner, sends it Near side to Campbell. Campbell off the boards up top to Whaley. Whaley back down the boards to Campbell. Campbell works into the right circle, sends across the ice pass. A shot was ripped wide by McComas. Now right wing, here's Campbell down low looking for the return feed from Porzondik, but Porzondik doesn't get that pass to go. He still controls, gives it down low to Whaley. Whaley across. It was intended for Isaac Gibbs. He'll move it up top to Christopher Martin. A shot through traffic cleared, and the Panthers will send it the length of the ice. It took a massive carom off the end boards, and the Chippewas control. Moving out on right wing, Whaley to Campbell. Campbell will enter the zone, work down the right wing. He'll take a high stick up. He'll take a stick up to the face. No call. Here's Whaley moving in a shot. Porzonda gets the rebound, trying to wrap around. It doesn't go, and the Panthers are able to get it to line, but not out. Christopher Martin let a shot go. It head off a body and goes into the far corner where the Panthers will pick it up and clear it to the Chippewa line. It's corralled across the way. One minute to go in the man advantage here on the five minute major to Gottfriedson. So the Chippewas haven't been able to get anything done on this man advantage. They've gotten plenty of shots though and plenty of good opportunities. Now a free puck in the right circle. Cooper picks it up. Jordan Cooper bumped to the boards. Oh, work it up top. A one-time shot was blasted high by Brennan Martin. And it'll go all the way down the ice once again. So the Chippewas will regroup with a half a minute to go. On the man advantage to Gottfriedson. Buck is free behind the Chippewa. Net two on left, comes free to the side of the net. It's jam free, popped up in the air behind the net. And a Panther stick goes flying. But it's regained quickly there by Hofstetter. Now working over the line, here's Baker. Baker with a shot, and it goes up into the netting behind. Shade Shearer will have a stoppage of play with nine seconds to go here in the man advantage to Gottfriedson. And 9.04 going here in this first period of play. The Chippewas haven't been able to get anything done thus far on the power play. They've got nine seconds with which to do some more damage if they can to this Panther penalty kill. A shot right off the draw. Looked like it went off of a Chippewa in front. And there's a shot from the left point off of this stick. Uh, Christopher Martin is deflected up off of a Panther and into the netting. One second left on the Gottfriedson Major. He'll hop out of the box and it'll be five on five once again for the first time in five minutes. Puck is dropped and we're back to five on five. Chippewas control the puck in the near side. They're able to keep it in though at the near point. Now a pass in front. It deflected up in the air and the Panthers are unable to gain control. Campbell puts it right down low and Shade Shearer comes out 
to gobble that puck up. Diving after it was directed ahead by Justin McComas. Draw will be in the right wing circle of the Panther end to our right here. 9.33 gone in period number one. It'll be McComas to dig in here. Against Elijah Kelsell. And that's Gottfriedson. Gottfriedson lost the draw on the Chippewas. A pass to the point. Gets past the defense and will go back into the chips end to our left. Chippewas are unable to get it out of their own zone. Kyle Chapman picks it up. And he'll play catch with his defensive partner. He'll get it back. As we are just about halfway through this opening period, 1-0 the Chippewas lead from Patterson Ice Center. Here's Justin McComas. We'll play it back defensively for Kyle Chapman. 9-1 the shots on goal. Chippewas go left to right across your radio dial here in period number one. Over the line here is Bradley left side for the Panthers. A shot from a sharp angle was blocked and saved there by by Smith. Now McComas moving in on goal and a shot go wide and the net comes off its moorings but the whistle was held and Shade Shearer put it right back on. Now Jared Kiefer ahead. Deflects onto the stick of Hofstetter. Hofstetter Kiefer kept it in at the point and the Chippewas gain control defensively but give it away at center and the Panthers dump it down behind Colin Smith. 9.09 to go here in period number one. Chippewas lead at 1-0. Off of Isaac Gibbs' second goal of the campaign and his career as a Chippewa. Now in the far corner of the Chippewa and two on the left. They are able to get it out to center ice. Playing it back there after it was dumped in is Alex Lasky. Lasky moving it out to center, deflected into the zone by Austin Ritter. R Pursuing it down there is Tolsdorf, but he couldn't gain control, and it's moved behind Shade Shearer. Panthers are able to gain control and lead the rush right to left. Moving up here is Aiden Dion. Dion let a shot go, trying to hit the far bottom corner, but it drifted wide. Buck tied up across the way at the top of the circles along the boards. Panthers are able to get it out. Are able to gain control, but it's intercepted by the Chippewas and sent down the ice. Panthers are playing a physical game here through the first 12 minutes. And they are bumping the Chippewas off the puck relentlessly here, not allowing them to get a ton of offense going, though they have nine shots. And they're out shooting the Panthers by a, by a factor of four. Nine to two. Panthers control across the way and dump it down into the corner. And down behind Colin Smith in the offensive end. Picked it up left point to the Panthers, but they gain, but they lose control. It's shoveled back to the Chippewa line. Picking it up there is Brennan Martin. We'll send it across to Lasky and get it right back. Martin over the Panther logo at center across that line. Oh, we're into the left circle. Backhand shot save. Loose in the crease, and Shearer is able to get the pad on that and hold it for a whistle with 7.15 to go here in period number one. So the Chippewas 0 for 1 on the power play here tonight. That moves them to 33% on the campaign. Drawing the left wing circle to the right of Shade Shearer. Chased out of the faceoff circle. At least he thought he was chased out. It was Cam Hofstetter. He'll get right back in it and promptly lose the draw. The Chippewas gain control in the offensive end. Put it down behind Shade Shearer. A pass out in front on a backhand was intercepted, and the Panthers are back the other way. Right to left comes Jared Kiefer, who'll gain the blue line and dump it in. Olgri gain control in the right in the left corner and pass it out in front. It skipped harmlessly across the way. A shot from the right circle save and the rebound. Loose behind the net. Pinned to the boards. Two on two. The Panthers come out of it with the puck. 
Right corner, it's dumped down low. Cam Hofstetter couldn't control it, and the Chippewas get it there for Kyle Chapman. Played off the boards and out past the line. Chippewas racing the puck just inside the offensive line, but it is bounced out to center ice. A pass ahead on near wing. A backhand feed in front wouldn't go. Right wing side. It's played down low. A pass right out in front. A shot. And it's stopped by Shearer on a one-time bid from the Chippewas in the bottom of the right circle. 11 to 3 is shots on goal now. Not a little, a little bit better now for the Panthers. Right now it's about a, a three and two thirds factor that the Chippewas are out shooting the Panthers by right now. But still they only lead one nothing. Shade Shearer has played very well thus far. Panthers we gain control off the face off and send it out to center where it's intercepted there by Christopher Martin. He'll send it in on Shearer. He'll glove it down but leave it there for Crowley. Back free behind the net. It comes free to Crowley on the near side. He'll play it off the boards and out to center ice. It skipped over the stick of Christopher Martin. And it's played at center here by Porzondek. Porzondek pass ahead to the near side. Jay Nadu over the line. He'll shovel it into the left corner. Race for the puck is won by the Panthers. They push it free to the near corner, but it's picked up by Nadu. He gives it away onto the stick. Of Lizziness. Lizziness ahead to Osborne left wing. He'll work it into the corner. 5.25 to go here in period number one. one nothing. the Chippewas lead it here from Patterson Ice Center on October 2nd. The second game of the season for both these two clubs. Chippewas working it down behind the offensive net. It's worked up top. A one-timer by Lasky is blocked up in the air and corralled by Cutter Osborne. Osborne ahead. It went off of the skate of Calso and on to the Chippewas stick. Will we get out here? It's bumped behind the net. Hayden Flynn doing the work there for the Chippewas. They give it away though. Puck free on the near half boards. It's skipped out to center. And we have an offsides call as Hayden Flynn played the puck. Uh, as he was coming out of the zone, the puck was coming in, so we'll have a draw just outside the Panther end, right in front of us here, actually, from the broadcast booth at Patterson Ice Center on the near side, just outside the Panther line. Fifteen, fifteen gone here in this opening period. Puck got in the line by Lasky. It comes onto the stick of Gazdecki. He let a shot go. It trickled wide after the initial after it was. Stopped partially by Shearer. Another shot from the right point drifts wide and to the far corner. It's pinned along the boards. Panthers gain control though. Moving right to left here is Aiden Dion. Hole shifted out to center ice. A loft pass was intended for Hofstetter, but it fell onto the sticks of the Chippewas, and they'll send it down for icing with 4.14 to go here in period number one. Draw it to the left of Colin Smith in the Chippewa and two on the left. Off, it's won cleanly by the Chippewas and they look to break out here. Martin has had his pass intercepted, a shot drifted wide off the stick of Colin Fairfield. It isn't kept in at the line across the way. Panthers back to their own line. Near side is Chance Bradley. Bradley working over the center red line and he'll backhand that in wide of goal to the far side of Smith. It's picked up by Charlie Hayes, the president of the Chippewa D3 club hockey team. He'll chip it out to the Panther line and get it right back. Here's Hayes over the line into the slot. Had it poked away, a shot was denied by Shade Shear and the rebound, another shot out in front and it's loose in the crease and covered by Shearer. With 3.32 to go. And some extracurriculars after the uh, play. Charlie Hayes getting into it with the Panther in front of the crease. Kevin Crowley was the Panther getting in the face of Charlie Hayes, but nothing comes of that. 
3.32 to go here in period number one. The draw will be to the right of Shearer. In the Davenport end. Owen Campbell to dig in for the draw for the Chippewas with his uh, opponent being Montana Gottfriedson. Off the tie-up, the Chippewas control, but it's out to center, a 2-1-1 one, one developing. Down the right side, here's Hofstetter, who oh, working at the circle, a shot! He ripped that high of the glove side, short side on Colin Smith. Now the Chippewas are back the other way, a three on two. Here's side, dancing in, a pass across, was cleared out! Good defensive play out in front by Hunter Tolstorf to deny the cross. Ice passed off the stick of Isaac Gibbs on that three on two. A good play there by Gottfriedson. Oh, pardon me, by Tolsdorf. Chippewas elect to have the draw in the right wing circle of the offensive end to suit the uh, to suit the hand of Owen Campbell who's going to dig in for this against his opposite number Hofstetter Hofstetter is able to win the draw and move it ahead for the Panthers but not out of the zone it's pushed right back in by the Chippewas it comes free on the near side and, moved, and is moved out to center racing up the wing is Carter Osborne after the puck he's beaten to it by Austin Whaley Whaley will drop it in, the own air, in his own end, and it's picked up by Brennan Martin. Martin will move it ahead off the skate of Campbell and into the offensive end. Campbell working behind the former Titan, working in. He tried to pass across, but it failed, but he gets it right back. Campbell, far side, moves it up top. Down low, a pass across. It's taken there by Isaac Gibbs. Gibbs at the right at the left point lets a shot go and it's held onto by Shade Shearer and now Campbell is getting into it with Gottfriedson once again a cross check up high the face of Isaac Gibbs drew the ire of a couple of the Chippewas but nothing will come of it 216 to go here in period number one 14 to four the shots on goal favoring the Chippewas here through one period. Draw to the right of Shearer. Off the tie, it's won by the Chippewas. Kept in by Chapman, but only momentarily as the Panthers get it out to center. Chippewas give it away though, but it's got, gotten right back by Cooper. Cooper over the line, onside. He didn't think that was gonna be onside, so he kind of overskated the puck. Now puck free, come, free, ah, puck comes free in the top of the slot, a shot saving the rebound, loose in the slot still. And the Panthers gain control and glove it out. It was gloved down at center there by Calso. Calso battling at the Chippewa line near his side. Puck comes free. Then Jordan Cooper leads the rush right wing, or left wing. He's bumped off the puck. And taking it there is Kelso. Kelso bumped off of the puck just inside the Chippewa line. 90 seconds to go here in the period. It's sent down the ice, and it will be icing against the Chippewas here with 1.24 to go in period number one. Chippewas, despite out shooting the Panthers 15 to 4, it hasn't, they haven't made it, they haven't made life incredibly difficult on Shade Shear like they did yesterday at Martin Ice Arena against the other netminder for the Panthers, Thomas Neal. This was, they got the fast start they wanted, but haven't been able to build on it since. Play down in the uh, Davenport end. Chippewas gain control offensively. Working to the near side, it's sent out in front off the stick of Cooper. Kept in at the line left side, a shot deflected and bounced wide. Across the way, the Chippewas pick it up, pinned up against the board. One minute of play left here in this opening frame. Panthers are able to clear it to center ice. Chapman puts it right back into the Davenport end. Right to left here in the final 48 seconds for the Panthers. They'll deflect it, they give it away at the Chippewa line. Now Baker sends it back for Chapman. Chapman up the wing near side to Nadu. Nadu lost control of it at center and the Panthers send it wide of goal. 
Chippewas gain control far side at the top of the circle and send it out to center. But the Panthers gain control and here come the Chippewas the other way. And it slashed out, had the stick slashed out of his hands. Yet Andrew Porzondik and an obvious penalty. And, and there's going to be a penalty here. Now against the Chippewas as it was Justin McComas slashing the stick out of Carter Osborne's hand. It looked like Osborne had a very, very, very light grip on that stick. And it may have been a little bit of an embellishment. So it's unsportsmanlike conduct on the Chippewas. Uh, on the Chippewas McComas and Osborne going off for a slash. With 20 seconds to go, so the 1940 mark of this of this first period. So we four on four hockey. The Panthers win the draw. They've got one last rush here. Working up the left wing. Here's Lizziness. He lost control. The puck comes free behind Smith. 10 seconds to go. Davenport in the offensive end here. Chippewas gain control with five seconds to go. We'll clear it out to center and in over the line, but they give it away there, and that'll do it for the opening period. one nothing. the Chippewas lead here after 20 minutes of play. We'll step aside, but come back with the first intermission report here on the Chippewa Club Hockey Network.
Well, it's one nothing after one period of play here at Patterson Ice Center. The Chippewas got on the board just 43 seconds into that opening period as uh, Owen Campbell worked his way down the right side into the offensive end, worked under the right circle. Uh, his initial shot was uh, blocked out in front, but it was right onto the stick of Isaac Gibbs moving down the left wing, and he was able to punt it past a sprawled out uh, Shade Shearer to make it one nothing for the Chippewas a couple of minutes later at the 4-12 mark of that opening period Montana Gottfriedson went off five minutes for a boarding penalty that gave the Chippewas an all-you-could-eat power play but they couldn't do anything on it they got a couple of shots on goal uh, in that uh, in that first in that first five minute ma major power play but they couldn't get anything past uh, Shade Shearer. And that is where we stand at the end of one shots on goal in that uh, first period, 15 to four in favor of Central Michigan. Almost out shooting Davenport by a factor of four here. Uh, notable, er, with Shade Shearer stumping uh, 14 of 15, he's doing very well between the pipes through the first 20 minutes for Davenport and for the Chippewas, Colin Smith in his first start collegiately has made four saves in the first 20 minutes of play. Both er, we will be four on four when we come back uh, for the second period as Osborne uh, slashed the stick out of uh, Andrew Porzondik's hands as he was entering the zone with 20 seconds to go. That drew a penalty against the Panthers, but uh, in the aftermath after the whistle, uh, Justin McComas, or McComas made the mistake of slashing the stick uh, out of Osborne. Admittedly, it looked like Osborne was holding that stick very, uh, very lightly, but when the stick flies 10, 15 feet in the air after uh, it is slashed out of your hands, you're probably gonna get the call, and that is indeed what happened, and which is why we sit four on four for another 139 on the fresh sheet of ice in the second period. Taking a look now at our out-of-town scoreboard, starting with uh, Central Michigan hockey. Uh, last night, the D2 men's team lost to the Illinois State, uh, pardon me, the Illinois State Redbirds five to two. Uh, it was two, it was three to two at the end of two, but uh, the Chippewas let things get away from them in that one down at Grossinger Arena. Uh, at Illinois State, and uh, so they fall to on the season. Uh, they fall to oh, uh, yeah, pardon me. They fall to zero oh and three on the year. They take on Illinois State again at uh, Grossinger Motors Arena tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. As for the D2 women, they are in action again on on uh, October 8th. They will take on. The Michigan State Spartans, or pardon me, the October 9th take on the Michigan State Spartans at Martin Ice Arena. And on the 10th, they will be at uh, Michigan State as well. So that's a weekend set for them to open up the 21-22 campaign for the women at Central Michigan. And taking a look at around the ACHA here in the uh, men's three the men's D three teams here. Uh, lots of lots of games went on yesterday. Uh, for uh, Grand Valley beat Michigan State. I believe it was a 5-3 victory yes last night. So they are off to a healthy start in this one, in this season beating uh, Michigan State at Mont Ice Arena. So uh, they will play again today. Uh, other notable games in the ACHA, uh, in the MCHC. Oakland will take on Saginaw Valley uh, State University at 8 p.m. in Saginaw. We've also got uh, other Michigan games here as we scroll through the scoreboard on the ACHA website. Uh, Trine is taking on Milwaukee School of Engineering at 1 p.m. Central. Uh, Ferris State at the Cedar Rock Sportsplex in Cedar Springs, Michigan at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, this afternoon, uh, they're on the University of uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, so uh, that game is at two. Uh, 
uh, other games, uh, there are no other uh, Michigan games on the scoreboard today, at least uh, according to the ACHA website. Well, with that out of town scoreboard, we will step, or with that out of town scoreboard completed, we will step aside for about another 7.34 as the time winds down here on the first intermission. We will be back in that amount of time for the second inter or for the second period as the Chippewas look to extend their lead here against the Davenport Panthers on Panthers home ice. one nothing the score after one on the Chippewa Club Hockey Network.
We are back and ready to go here as both teams make their way onto the ice down below us. Central Michigan will move from right to left across your radio dial. Maroon jerseys, gold numerals, gold trim, maroon pants, and maroon socks. Panthers left to right uh, wearing their white uniforms with black and red trim, black pants, and white socks. I was talking with the Davenport broadcaster, uh, Tyler Kuehl, during the intermission, and uh, one thing I did forget to mention in that out-of-town scoreboard for uh, for the first intermission is the uh, American League uh, wild card uh, with uh, in the MLB. We have the chance that we could see a three-way tie at the top. Right now, the Yankees in Boston sit at the top. Uh, and one game behind Boston uh, are collectively Toronto and Seattle. Those games, that'll be a fun race to watch. Play is underway down below us here as we get set in this second period of play. Time winding down on the four on four. The clocks are stuck right now for that four on four and they finally get moving. Now the Chippewas in the offensive and a shot right on from the right wing. Circle off of the stick of Austin Whaley and it's held on to right onto the Davenport logo in the center of Shade Shearer's chest. He'll hold on for a whistle. 1941 to go here in period number two. Line change for the Panthers holds up as on comes Lizziness and off goes Gottfriedson. Chippewas win the offensive zone, drop it to give it away. Now down the, le the left wing, here's Crowley, a shot blocker away by Smith. A rebound comes across the way and it's Taken up by the Chippewas, left, right to left. Entering the zone, it slides right in on Shade Shearer. He gets hit up high, goes down, but in a roly-poly type of way that goalies have. Now speaking as a goalie myself, he rolls around and pops right back up. 111 left on the four on four here to start period number two. Osborne and McComas both serving out penalties. They uh, acquired at the end of that first period of play. Draw to the right of Shade Shearer in the Panther end is won by the Panthers and they'll shovel out to center ice. It's intercepted by Charlie Hayes. Who'll play it ahead to Isaac Gibbs. Ahead on right wing to, to Campbell. Campbell got, uh, gave it away but the Panthers aren't able to get it out of the zone. Loose puck in the left corner. Gibbs pinches down. Campbell is able to pick up the puck. He'll take it away there from Hofstetter. Work into the right circle. Full circle at the top of the circle. And a backhand pass for Hayes goes out of the zone. And Hayes will collect and at center ice and go off for a line change, as do the rest of the Chippewas. Shade Shearer intended his pass for his defenseman, but I didn't get to him in time. That led to a delay. But the Panthers still move out. There's a shot that drifted wide off of the, uh, off of the stick of Kelso. Now Simon Selly lost the puck at the Chippewa line, but he'll get it right back and send it across to Jordan Cooper. His shot was off the stick of Chance Bradley, blocking it defensively for the Panthers, and it'll go up and out of play with 140. Elapsed here in the second period. Nine seconds left on the four on four. Drawing the left circle to the right of Shearer is won by Simon Selly. Simon Selly pinned up against the boards near side, down deep in the Panther end. Panthers come out of that puck, out with the puck, and we're at the five on five. Played out at center ice. It bounces around just inside the Panther end, it, or just inside the Panther line, and sent back out to center ice, and the Chippewas send it right back in. Just over two minutes gone here in period number two. Chippewas lead this one, one nothing at Patterson Ice Center. Over the Davenport Panthers. Chapman jammed up against the board, took his man down, but it was coincidental, not, not enough to cause an infraction and a power play for the Panthers. Chippewas moving right to left, an outlet pass for Zondick. Lost control of the puck. Panthers are able to move it into the Chippewa and two on the right. That will be icing. And the drop will be sent down the 
Well, Don't we'll be sent back down to the Davenport end. Panthers trying to do a switcheroo on that icing, but as the offending team, they cannot uh, change lines after a not change lines after an icing. So the referee put their right five back on the ice. Chippewas win the draw and look to go back to work. A shot ricocheted off the end boards and stuck behind the net. It comes free into the near corner. It's pinned up along there. It comes free to the point there for, for Martin. Christopher Martin plays it down low. It's pinned up there by McComas, and the Panthers are able to pickpocket him. Trying to move out of the, uh, the defensive end is Schalk. He's able to do so, but it comes right onto the stick of Nadu. Nadu. Uh, tries once, doesn't get it, but on the second try, he gets it into the offensive end. Now a giveaway in the slot. It comes right back up top. Porzondik lost control of the puck. Fishing around for it. He's got it, but it's knocked away from him. And the Panthers, he'll knock it right away. Does Porzondik feeds it near side for McComas into the slot. And it falls harmlessly across the way. Kept in at the line, the Panthers are able to control it though, and they'll move out to center ice. Down the left side, Aiden Dion had the puck knocked off of his stick, and it's moved right onto the stick of Porzondik. Porzondik with speed down the left side. Oh, make a drop pass to McComas. McComas left circle, a shot save, and the rebound loose in the crease. It's cleared out to the top of the circle, and it's slapped right down low. Now a pass right in front, jammed to the side of the, side of the net. Down goes Shearer, and the puck comes free to the slot. A shot by Martin, and it's up and into the... And Shearer's without a stick. That shot goes wide. He's got his stick back. Brennan Martin keeps it in left point. Oh, we're going to shot. Score! Brennan Martin! Let one fly from the top of the left circle, and it found its way down the bottom right corner as you're looking at the net pass shade. Shearer! Outstretched blocker, and at 4-14 of the second period, Central Michigan leads it 2-0. So for the Chippewas, this was a slow start, at least on the scoreboard, compared to last night, but hopefully that goal will springboard something. Now we're working on a shot. Big save by Shearer to keep... I want to keep a, some confidence after that goal. 5.33 to go here in period number two. So 4.14, the time of the goal. A big collision across the way in the Panther end, two on the left. This game's getting a little bit more physical as we go on here through the first uh, 25 minutes of this contest. Now pass out in front, went off this skate. The Chippewas gain control offensively. They give it away though in the right corner. And here come the Panthers, left to right. Moving over the line, working into the corner. Here's Tolsdorf, wrapping it around, sends it out in front. It went off his skate and is cleared behind the net. Panthers still controlling the puck, a pass out in front, Tolsdorf had it hop up on him. He still has the control of the puck behind the net, a pass in front, intercepted, and here's a three on two for the Chippewas. Here's Owen Campbell over the line right side. Drop pass here for Moore, Moore back to Campbell, a pass across, was deflected, and another shot save, and the rebound. This one coming off of the stick of Moore from the left corner. Icing is waved off, back in his own end is Charlie Hayes to pick it up. Hayes will play it off of the boards across the way, and it comes out to center ice. With speed, here's Kosnick down the left side. Tried to toe drag around the Panthers' defense, but he couldn't do so. Panthers back the other way. Over the line, here's Hofstetter left side, a shot! And gloved down Comley by Smith, and now uh, Colin Smith is uh, holding, the, holding the, his catching glove, in, or was holding his catching glove in the face of Cam Hostetter, as if to say, hey, look, I've got it. No need to bump into me. So after that resulting stoppage, Drum will be in the right circle at the Chippewa and Hofstetter to dig in with his opposite, now with his opponent being Aiden Gazdecki. The freshman from Riverview High School wins the draw, but we have a whistle, a face-off infraction as uh, judged by the referee. So Gazdecki and Hofstetter to dig in once again.
The rookie from Riverview ties up his man, and the Chippewas, Jacob Kostnick, moves with speed. Over the line, he lost control of the puck, but the Chippewas are able to uh, keep it in the offensive end, but not controlled. Now Hofstetter picks up the puck, moves across that line of the offensive zone, a shot! That loose in the crease! And it's knocked away. It laid at the right pad of Smith for a second. Looked like the Panthers might have had a chance if somebody was on the back door to jam it home. But nothing came of it as it was cleared. Now a puck flutters on goal from the right circle. And it's held on to there by Shearer for a halt in play. With 6.28 to go in period number two. Shots in this period three to two for the Chippewas, so things have evened up a little bit more on the shot total through the first seven minutes of this, of this second period. A pass up a one-timer by Christopher Martin. They didn't get a lot on it. It skittered across the ice and to the catching glove of Shea Jirer. 13.27 to go here in period number two, 19 to six, the shot's on goal. No one up, Christopher Martin left point, a shot blocked out in front, the Panthers controlled it in the defensive end. They'll slap it off the boards and back to the Central Michigan line. A pass ahead here for Cooper, Cooper over the line left side. He'll work it down into the corner, but he's beaten to the puck there by Gottfriedson. Now a pass out in front, dangerous there. Referee goes down in the far corner. And not involved in the play. Chapman keeps it in at the right point, pops up in the air. And out of play, ricochets off of the uh, wall behind the Chippewa bench. So with 7-1 gone here in period number two, Chippewas will have a draw just outside the Panther line across the way right in front of their own bench. One by the Chippewas, they'll go to work in, in the neutral zone. Christopher Martin sends a long shot and Shearer Thought about letting it go, but he'll scoop it up again and hold on here. With 12.51 to go in period number two. Chippewas again scoring early in this second period, but they've gotten some shots on goal, but not a ton of great opportunities. A lot of that has been for the Panthers, at least early in this uh, second period. Now Cooper gains control, moving into the right circle offensively, but it's knocked away from him. Panthers are, un, are able to get it out past the uh, attempt of Jordan Cooper and back in the Chippewa end. Now a giveaway here as it comes into the far corner. It hit the stick of Gottfriedson across the way. He'll feed it in front. Chippewas are able to cut that off and not get it out. Near side, here's uh, Tolson. Tolsdorf let a shot go. That went wide. Now the Panthers control right wing corner. A pass was fanned on, and the Chippewas gained control. They can't get it out to a streaking Simon Selly. Simon Selly will pick up a loose puck across the way, though he'll work into the right circle. He's knocked off the puck. Good defensive work there for the Panthers. Now a giveaway, picking it up top of the slot. A pass across was lifted high by Porzondek. Puck comes free into the near corner, 1.42 to go here in period number two. A shot by Brennan Martin from the left point went wide. Now the Chippewas, a toe drag in front, it's lifted high there by Austin Whaley. With 11.31 to go in period number two, the Chippewas here have five shots on goal. In this second period to the Davenport two. Remember Davenport at the end of that first period only had four shots on goal. Draw will come to the left side, or will come to the left, Ashade Shearer in the Davenport end to our left. McComas wins the draw for the Chippewas, but they give it right away. Moving down the left side, here's Kiefer. Kiefer over the line. Hole backhanded in on Colin Smith and directed to the corner. Wrapped around the boards across the way. It's taken there by Campbell. His stretch pass to Porzondik bounced away from its intended target in the Panthers' control. That neutralized bouncing puck played to the near half boards. An outlet pass. Here's McComas. Right wing circle is shot blocked there 
And Hofstetter's feeling it, another pass across. That, hit, that didn't hit a Chippewa. Puck free in the bottom of the left circle, picked up by the Chips. It's worked up to the point, here's Whaley. Whaley left point, playing catch with Nadu up to, up to Whaley with a shot, and it's gloved down by Shearer with 10.42 to go here in the second. Campbell has factored in on both goals for the uh, Chippewas here tonight. He assisted on the first goal to Isaac Gibbs and the second one early in that early in the second to Brennan Martin. Martin wearing a different number tonight, 18. And along with another Chippewa, Joey Simon Selly, who's donned the sweater number four. A shot from a sharp angle was played to the end boards by Shearer. Panthers are able to get it to line and out. It's intercepted at center. Chippewas play it off the boards across the way, taken right back by the Panthers. Gottfriedson, no, oh, pardon me, that is Calso. Calso across the line right side. He lost an edge, and the Chippewas gain control in the defensive end. Buck free, a pass up top. Went past the intended target, Gottfriedson from Calso, and the Panthers have to go back into their own end. Played out to center ice, taken there by the Chippewas, Lasky. Plays it there to Gibbs. Isaac Gibbs near side to and Campbell over the line. Across to Gibbs, right back to Campbell. He'll chase it into the left corner. Bumped up against the boards. Panthers take it away there. We are over halfway through this hockey game from Patterson Ice Center. Reagan Cleaves on the call for you here on the Chippewa Club Hockey Network. 2-0 the Chippewas lead this one. Across the way, Isaac Gibbs will, will try the pass, but it was blocked off of a Panther, and they'll control in the defensive end. An outlet pass is tipped high into the left corner of the Chippewa in to our right. It is corralled by Charlie Hayes, who'll shovel it out to center right. It is picked up by Crowley in his own end. Crowley, a pass over to Hofstetter. Hofstetter will play it out to neutralize. Bumped off of the puck there by Fairfield. Now a chance here for the Chippewas. Here's Hayden Flynn moving in on goal. He scores! Hayden Flynn picked up a loose puck in the offensive end. Moved down the left side, around the outside of the left circle, and snuck it short side. Pass shade, Shearer, 3-0. Central Michigan. Eleven oh one, the time of the goal for Hayden Flynn. For him, it's his first goal of the campaign. Goal won by the Chippewas at center ice. It's moved across. Chapman moving it out too far there for Jacob Kosnick. It will go far enough for icing. With eight forty-seven left here in period number two. Draw to the left of Colin Smith in the Chippewa and to our right. It'll be Gazdecki to dig in against Hofstetter. Puck free in the right circle is poked free to, is free to Crowley. He's shot that wide, a big hit across the way. Hayes getting the assist on that goal, so Charlie Hayes factoring in. For the first time this season. Puck free behind the net, a pass out in front. Goes off of the net. And we'll have a stoppage of play here. And the play will go, and the face drop will go outside the Chippewa end. Three nothing, the Chippewas lead this one here in the, in the series finale. Hard to believe that this close, this uh, this shallow into the season we're already having a series finale but that is the case most of these uh, games here in D3 of the ACHA and actually most everywhere in the ACHA are two game weekend sets and home and homes mostly Chippewas only have two non home and home sets and they'll both 
and one of them will be at Martin Ice Arena against uh, Robert Morris University in a couple of weekends. And now he's a shot from the top of the slot here by Calso as the Panthers go to work in the offensive end. And the other one, uh, and the other uh, two games at a specific venue as that puck is batted up out of play by Jordan Cooper will be the Florida trip when the uh, Chippewas head down to Florida Gulf Coast uh, in the first game of the second semester. That will be the 22nd and the uh, 21st and the 22nd of January, if memory serves me. Joey Simon selling it again with Hofstetter in the right in the left wing circle. Chippewas win it. It's wrapped around the boards by Brendan Martin. However, it falls onto the stick of the Panthers. Batted into the near corner. Simon Selle with his man. A pass deflected into the high slot. It is cleared down low by the Panthers. Puck free in the right circle. Loose in the top of the crease. Chippewas got to be careful with it. Puck free at the side of the net. A shot and a save by Smith. Rebound comes into the corner. It's wrapped around. And Hayden, and uh, pardon me, Austin. Uh, Austin Whaley. Uh, was about to get decked by Hofstetter, but gave Hofstetter the bad end of it. Now a shot by Simon Sully from the right circle in the offensive end. Is saved. Rebound comes free behind the net. Shearer scrambling back into his goal. Up top, here is Martin. The whole teed up and fire a shot that went off the mask of Shearer. And it's cleared to the near corner. Working there is Whaley. Whaley moving into the slot. Martin is able to pick up the puck. A shot blocked and the rebound. Simon Sully, right circle, a shot. That was lifted wide. Panthers are able to pick up the puck. A high hit. That will be a penalty on Austin Whaley. If not a game misconduct, that is a huge hit up high to a Panther. Looks like it's either Hofstetter or Fairfield down low. This could be devastating to the Chippewas here. It's Colin Fairfield was the was on the receiving end of that, and the Chippewas are gonna be shorthanded here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a five minute major. Good to see Colin Fairfield getting up, but here with 13.28 gone, the Chippewas are gonna have a big power, a big penalty kill here. There's actually a Panther in the penalty box across the way. Okay, so it'll be a four, it'll be a four on four for the next two minutes as uh, Aiden Dion was sent off. And for the uh, Chippewas, Whaley was sent off. I assume it will be a head check to Whaley along with a uh, either a 10 minute misconduct or a game misconduct, he has been kicked out. So on the scoreboard it is a five minute uh, major to Whaley and a two minute uh, penalty to Dion. We'll wait for the announcement on the penalty. It'll be four on four for the next two minutes. Draw will be in the Chippewa end to our right again. Whaley hitting uh, Fairfield up high along the boards with an elbow to the head. And the draw will come outside the Chippewa end, pardon, due to the four-on-four -four nature of the penalties. This could be a big one here. If the Panthers can get a goal here on this, on the ensuing power play, they'll have three minutes of power play time after the uh, penalty to Dion expires. Chippewa's... So it is a game misconduct and interference. So Dion gets the two for slash and the game misconduct in five minute major to Austin Whaley. Panthers will shovel it down low and look to go to work. Here's Hofstetter behind the net. Hofstetter putting on the brakes, moving in to the far corner. It's tied up along the boards across the way. Puck squirts free to the near corner. Chippewas. 
Charlie Hayes will pick it up. Send across ice pass to McComas. McComas working across that line on sides with Hayes. McComas working down low. Four on four action here for the next 110. A pass up to Lasky. A shot from the top of the right circle. And it's cleared out. A race for the puck. Lasky will get to it. And keep it out center where it's given away to the Panthers. Hofstetter across that line. Left side. Oh, working to the bottom of the circle. A pass up top is intercepted by McComas. And here's a two on one. He's in there with Nadu. McComas over the line right side. Holt work into the top of the slot. A shot and a good defensive play. There by, by Crowley. To, now pass across and the Chippewas fire it wide. Here's Nadu working in the near corner. 37 to go on the man advantage. Now pass out in front and McComas scores. A bad play there by Shade Shearer. He, the puck came from the Far corner, he tried to poke it away, not realizing McComas was right on the door step, and McComas roofs it past Shearer, who is down and out, and it is now 4-0 in favor of the Chippewas. So Whaley, after, so on that four on four, that goal coming at 14.55, of the second period, it is 4-0 Chippewas. So working now, here's another opportunity for the Chippewas as streaking down left wing was Christopher Martin. He let a shot go. It looked like it was going wide, but it was gloved down by Shade Shearer nonetheless. 4-0. The score, 19 seconds left on the four on four. The line of the Panthers will have an all-you-can-eat three-minute power play after this. Here's a shot from the left point. It was blocked and goes to the far corner. Jordan Cooper picks it up there for the Chippewas. Loose puck is taken by the Panthers and lifted down the ice. It will be icing with six seconds to go on the four on four. So the draw will come back into the Panther end with five seconds to go on the four on four. So it's worked down low, out of the box, hops Dion, and it is now a power play for the Panthers. On the year, the, pa the Panthers this season are 0 for 3 as the Chippewa penalty kill was flawless last night at Martin Ice Arena. The Panthers pick it up. So Nadu getting the uh, sorry, Nadu getting the primary assist on that goal to put the Chippewas up by four over the line right side. It's taken down in the Panther in the Panther offensive end here. Lizzie Niss gets it, or pardon me, that Dion. Dion will work behind the net. He's taken to the boards, a pass up top. Was well, batted down, and Kostnick now going to the boards with Dion, and he's hit up high. How was that not a penalty? There's a pass out in front. The Panthers get it right back. It comes free to the left point, and it's chopped down. And Kostnick pinned to the boards. About halfway between the blue line and the red line to his side of the ice. 142 to go on the man advantage here for the Panthers. It's played back into the Panther end. They'll regroup behind Shade Shearer. 303 to go in the second. 129 to go in the man advantage. Aiden Dion moving up right wing here. Pardon me, that's Lizziness. Lizziness over the line. Will work into the hash marks. Passing it, it's tied up along the half boards and eventually cleared out by the Chippewas. Down into the Panther end, two on left. Shade Shearer tries a long stretch pass. He's got a lizziness, but it, it skipped over his stick and a delayed offside on the Panthers. They're wondering what the heck that delayed offside was and the Chippewas sent it the length of the ice right on goal. And Shade Shearer had to turn that aside. 51 seconds to go here in the uh, five minute major to uh, Austin Whaley. Uh, he, is, he will be out for the rest of the game on a game misconduct. Panthers moving into the offensive end, wrapping it around, here's Aiden Dion. 
Dion working into the right circle. Drop pass for Lizziness. Top of the right circle. He'll play it down low to Hofstetter. Hofstetter working behind the net. Pardon me, that's Osborne. Osborne across. Up top to Dion. Dion a nice backhand feed to Lizziness near corner. Lizziness will feed it out in front. A shot was blocked. And Nadu will clear it out. 13 seconds to go on the man advantage for the Panthers. They had a little bit of zone time, but not a ton of shots. They only had three in this period. It's played out to the Panther line by the Chippewas, and that'll do it for the man advantage. But here's an opportunity for the Panthers. Toe dragging around, loose puck, and it's covered by Colin Smith. We'll hold on for a whistle as the Panthers go 0 for 1 on the power play. They kind of shot themselves in the foot because if that, if Aiden Dion hadn't committed that slashing infraction on uh, Whaley in retaliation for that high head hit on Fairfield, they would have had a five minute power play. Instead, they only had a three minute power play and the Chippewas got a four on four goal in, in that two minutes before they had their power play. A shot from the near side is turned aside by Smith, comes free to the left point. It's kept in by the Panthers, but it hops free to the near side. Charlie Hazel pick it up. His stretch pass is intercepted by Tolsdorf and sent back into the right corner. Picking it up there for the Chippewas is Lasky as we have under 60 seconds to go here in period number two. Given away at the line, Gottfriedson. It goes to Tolsdorf, a shot off the top of the pad of top of the right pad of Smith, now an outlet pass ahead to Flynn. Flynn's in on a breakaway. He'll let a backhand shot go just wide of goal. 40 seconds to go here in period number two. It's played across the way, taken by the Panthers. Pinned up along the boards at the bottom of the right circle. In the Panther end, two on left. Chippewas come out with the puck and look to go to work offensively. Lasky, a one-timer from the point, is blocked off of the stick of Fairfield. Chippewas are able to pick it up, a shot. That's up into the near corner. It looked like it was going up in the netting with 20, with 12 seconds to go in the second. Puck free behind the net, a pass into the slot is taken there by Kelso and Hull lifted out to center and it was played with a high stick by the Chippewas. So we'll have a face off back in the Chippewa end with, with 4.3 seconds to go in period number two. Chippewa offense has exploded here in the second period, they've got three goals from uh, Brennan Martin, Hayden Flynn, and Justin McComas. That puts them up 4 nothing here in the second. Simon Silly to dig in. Panthers load the right side of the faceoff circle. They tie it up to the Chippewas, and that'll do it for the second period. We will step aside. Oh, never mind, we won't. We've got a scrum in the high slot as Crowley getting into it with Charlie Hayes in the thick of it there. Hayes and Crowley getting into it. Uh, it looked like Jordan Cooper was holding a Panther back there. No, uh, no animosity there with Cooper, but Hayes still giving it to the Panthers. It's that Simon Selly John at uh, Panther as he goes off the ice. Looks like it's uh, Carter, Carter Osborne, but that situation has diffused. We'll step aside, 15 minutes on the clock for the first intermission. We'll be right back with these, er, for the second intermission report. This is Catholic, er, this is Central Michigan uh, D3 Club Hockey on CCHN.
Reagan Cleaves bringing it back here inside the broadcast booth at Patterson Ice Center where after 40 minutes, it is 4-0 in favor of the Chippewas. Here that second period featured a flurry of Central Michigan goals uh, spanning or over the span of 10 minutes, Brennan Martin first let a shot go from the slot. It found its way short side past uh, Shade Shearer into the back of the net for the second goal of the game for the Chippewas. Assist on that one went to Owen Campbell, his second of the night. As for, and then Hayden Flynn found himself on a breakaway off of an outlet pass from uh, Charlie Hayes. He uh, sprinted down the left side, worked around the outside of the circle, and uh, uh, shot the puck short side over the pad of Shearer and underneath his glove and into the back of the net for the third goal of the game for the uh, for the Chippewas. And then uh, a, an errant pass uh, from Jay Nadu in front that was uh, initially poke checked by Shade Shearer uh, into the slot which is as a goalie not one of the best things you can do uh, and in this instance, it turned out to be even worse for Shearer as guess who was standing on the doorstep? None other than Justin McComas who was able to roof it over uh, a sprawled Shearer to make it a four nothing game. Uh, that last goal for the Chippewas was, came on a four on four after Whaley uh, was whistled for interference on a hit to the head uh, of Colin Fairfield uh, that was called interference. He was assessed a five minute major and a uh, game misconduct, but uh, the Panthers kind of shot themselves in the foot uh, as uh, 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 as Aiden Dion came back and slashed Whaley, uh, which, uh, which negated two minutes of that five minute major and made it instead of a five minute power play made it a four on four for two minutes and that's how the Chippewas scored their last goal with McComas there. Uh, on the power play, uh, the on the ensuing power play, the Panthers couldn't get anything done. They fall for 0 for 1 for the night and the Chippewas didn't have any uh, penalties or didn't have any power play opportunities in that second. Uh, they remain 0 for 1. The uh, shots on goal in that second period, 11 to 3 in favor of the Chippewas. That moves the grand total for the games, 26 to 7 uh, for uh, the Chippewas. They are out shooting the Panthers by a wide margin here at Patterson Ice Center. Now we uh, swivel to take a look at the out of town school board here. Uh, taking a look at the uh, Grand Rapids Griffins. They are in town uh, to start their season. Uh, two Fridays from now on the 15th of October. They will take on the Rockford Ice Hogs at home at 7. You can purchase your tickets at griffinshockey.com uh, and you can listen to that game if you are not in town on iHeartRadio. Just look up 100 or uh, 106.9 FM and you can listen to Bob Kayser uh, in his return to the airwaves after a year. Uh, he will have the call for you uh, with pregame starting at about 6 40. As for the Saginaw Spirit, 2021-22 uh, season tickets are on sale now. You can get them at SaginawSpirit.com. Uh, they will open up their se open up their series their season against Erie on the 16th of October at Dow Event Center. That game starts at 7:05. If you are not in town, you can listen to Joey Potato with the call on 100.5 uh, FM 9 or 790. AMWSGW on the Saginaw Spirit Radio Network. As for the Detroit Red Wings, they were in action the other night against the uh, against the uh, or they are in action tonight against the Columbus Blue Jackets. You can listen to that game on the ticket or watch it on Bally Sports Detroit Plus. As for the NHL here, as we Take one final look at the out-of-town scoreboard for them. Uh, the Wi-Fi here at Patterson Ice Center is being a bit slow. And I'm trying to have two broadcasts. Uh, Tyler Kuehl for Davenport. Uh, sitting to my left here, he is calling the game for Davenport fans. And uh, we, so we're trying to stream two games off of this. And uh, so the Wi-Fi is being a bit finicky. We will uh, hold off on that NHL scoreboard 
as it is taking longer than the time that I would like to fill. So we'll step aside here for the rest of the second intermission. We'll be back in about seven minutes' time for the action of the third period. Central Michigan leading 4-1 after 40 minutes. This is the Central Michigan University Club Hockey Network.
Patterson Ice Center, the set for period number three between these two clubs. Central Michigan leading Davenport by a total of four goals to none. Yes. So Charlie Hayes and Crow Kevin Crowley sent off, as you can hear, over the PA for unsportsmanlike penalties for both gentlemen. And we will have a four on four for the first two minutes of this third period on a fresh sheet. This could mean some fast moving hockey in the opening minutes. Puck comes free into the Chippewa and poked to the nearest side. After it, there is Osborne. He couldn't control it for the Panthers, so the Chippewas control. Osborne takes his man to the boards as the Chippewa defensive pair, Campbell and uh, Campbell plays catch with him. It's played out to the Davenport and it slides right in on Shearer and he'll hold on for a whistle here with 40 seconds gone here in period number three. So the draw will come into the left wing circle of the Davenport end. To our right, Joey Simon selling it again for the Chippewas. 121 left on the four on four. And it's wrapped around the boards to the near corner. Digging it in there is Jordan Cooper. He plays it up to the point where it was fired wide. Cooper across the way, pinning the board, pinning the puck up against the boards, plays it down low. Panthers take it over, get it to the line, but kept in there by Chapman. Good job there by the Chippewa defenseman. Now Cooper lost control of the puck in the left circle, and it couldn't be corralled at the line by the Chippewas. They'll have to regroup. 50 seconds to go on the coincidental Meyer penalties. To Hayes and Crowley. Moving in, here's Cooper, a pass up top into the slot to Simon Selly. Goes back into the neutral zone where uh, Brennan Martin will play it to Simon Sully, who slaps it back into the defensive end for Keelan Banker. The Central Michigan captain plays it back in the right wing circle, gave it away. Here's Aiden Dion working in a shot. That was blocked and from the high slot. A good opportunity there for the Panthers. Had good defensive work by the Chippewas. It's played ahead. Joey Simon Sully was somehow onside there. But it's moved back into the Chippewa end. Around behind Colin Smith, the Chippewa net and minder has stopped all seven shots. As we're back to five on five, Hayes and Crowley hop out of the box. Hayes is replaced by Kosnick for the Chippewas. Here's a three on two. Down the left side, here's Borzondek, a pass in front. It was up in the air, McComas couldn't get a handle on it. It's moved up. The Panthers send it across and into the Chippewa end off the half boards. Borzondek takes control just outside the line. Oh, play it back to the near side. Lasky out to neutralize Panthers control. Aiding, er, Kevin Crowley will send it into the Panther and icing negated due to it being tipped. Play in the left corner. Panthers and Chippewas for nothing for Central Michigan. Now an ugly looking uh, fall there for Aiden, for Lizziness, he goes down, he looks to be hurt. Now a pass in front, that went off of the pad of Smith, but it's able to be kept in the zone by the Panthers. Lizziness is very slow to get up. He is making his way to the bench. Meanwhile, the chip ones have a two on three. On the left side, here's McComas behind the net to the near corner. Oh, working to the right circle. Working to the top of the slot. McComas will let a shot go blocker away. There by Shearer. Puck comes free. Taken by Porzondek. Near side, Porzondek a shot. That lifted high off the pass from McComas. Now another shot from the shot. Bengal was blocked to the corner. Pass to the side of the net. The Panthers pick it up. Kevin Crowley off of the high glass to the line. It is taken out there by Calso. Calso. Loses control of the puck. He gets tied up with, it, with, uh, with Alex Lasky. Away from the play. Now McComas loses control of the puck at the line. Here's an opportunity. Flynn, a shot. Save him the rebound. Into the, near, into the near circle. Panthers send it across the way. It's taken by Gottfriedson. 
Gottfriedson enters into the zone right wing. He had the puck knocked away from him, Chapman. Up to Austin Ritter, he had it knocked away, puck free in the slot, and it comes into the corner. Now it's right into the slot, Gottfriedson was, had it knocked away from him by Lasky. Good defensive play to tie up Gottfriedson. Now Hayden Flynn steps around to check, gets the puck right back. He's across the line left side, works into the right, works into the circle, a drop pass. Here is a shot that was blocked, rebound comes to Martin. Martin will wrap it around to the near side. Jared... Kiefer is there to pin it up against the boards as well as Gazdek for the Chippewas. It comes out to neutralize, pinned just in front of the Comerica Bank logo between the near side dot and the red line. Comes back to the Chippewa and across the way, a long stretch pass intended for Gazdek. Goes up just a bit too far and finds its way beyond the goal line for icing against the Chippewas. 5.02 gone here in the third period of play. Chippewas looking to improve their record to 2-0 on the air, both against these Panthers. Now a shot from the left point was rifled high off the stick of Aiden Dion. Smith didn't see it in the last second. Lucky for him, it was over the top of the net. Now puck comes free to the left point. Dion rips it across. It is not kept into the line by Kevin Crowley. He'll retreat back to his own line to regroup. Now he'll move with speed over the line left side. Oh, we're getting to the top of the slot. Lost control, but he'll get it right back. A spin around shot blocked off of the stick of Martin and the Chippewas control. Central Michigan left to right here in this third period wearing the maroon jerseys with gold trim and gold helmets, gold numerals as well adorning the front and backs of those road Chippewa uniforms. Panthers moving right to left, wearing their ho home white uniforms with red and black trim. Black pants and white socks. Now here's Owen Campbell near side of the neutral zone. He'll send a pass over the line, across, played off the boards. And the Panthers regain control in the defensive end. Moving out with speed here, Schalk. Schalk lets the pass go off the boards, past its intended target, Kelso four and icing with 6-10 gone here in the third 29 to 8 the shots on goal for Central Michigan they have uh, they have just been pounding the Panther netminder with shots here tonight and he has stood tall for the most part a couple of those he didn't have much chance on. Now a pass, now a, a loose puck in front of the net as the Panthers try to break out. And for safety's sake, it will be taken and held onto by Shade Shiver. Now Jay Nadu comes out. Uh, he was vacant from the bench to uh, start this third period. He is back on the bench. We hope he can remain in play. Now, Shade Scherer uh, has something wrong with the bottom of his uh, the bottom of his goal pad here. Trying to get it fixed. We'll move across. He's at the bench now with Phil Wendecker looking at it. The head coach for the Panthers as they get that fixed with 6-19 gone here in the third period of play. Central Michigan looking ahead on their schedule. They do not play another game until the 16th of October when they will take on Florida Gulf Coast at, uh, on Florida Gulf Coast at home at Martin Ice Arena in one game set before the next week taking on Robert Morris University in another two game set. Both of those games will be at home. Then they'll play another game against Trine University uh, to close out that four game homestand. Play down in the Chippewa end after Panthers dumped it in off of the faceoff win in their own zone. Working behind his net here for the Chippewas. A long pass catches Owen Campbell. He's in on a breakaway. Working in, tries uh, to go between the legs. But it was a nice save there by Shane Shearer. Now the Panthers working out. Campbell went for the uh, highlight reel goal, but 
he might have been better served to just try to put that puck into the back of the net rather than uh, let it, rather than try for the highlight reel. Campbell picks up a loose puck in the right corner, was knocked off of it though by Hunter Tolsdorf. Puck free across the way, Chippewas pick it up and look to go to work on the offensive end. Here's Owen Campbell, top of the slot. Sends a pass near side, hopped over the stick of Brennan Martin. Whole control, sent it up top. Taken there, a shot through traffic, save, and the rebound loose in front, and a big save by Shearer, rebound behind the net. It comes to the near side, where it is played by Jacob Kostick, a pass across, deflected just wide of the net. The rebound played in front. It couldn't be slapped home by Gibbs. His pass up top taken by Martin across. That's Baker. Baker, a shot through traffic up top. Glove down. In the slot, it's free. Baker, top of the slot. Who let a shot go and gobble it up by Shade Shearer. Onto the Panther crest. A good showing there by the freshman Shade Shearer. For the Panthers here. Out of Lurvain, Minnesota. Lots of players on this Davenport squad come from outside uh, cities in Michigan. However, for Central Michigan, there is one player on their roster who is not a Michigander, and that is Joey Simon Selly. He resi- he. Uh, Comes from Bensville, Illinois. Buck free at neutral ice. Panthers look to get it at the Chippewa line. They play it into the offensive end, but it's quickly taken by the Chippewas. Charlie Hayes wraps it around the boards to the far side. Jacob Gosnick pinned up there. Simon Selly. The Illini picks it up behind the net and looks to break the Chippewas out here. Kept in by Aiden Dion with a one-time shot and Simon Selly blocks it. Now coming through neutral ice over the Panther logo. Simon Selly lost control of the puck. We'll play it near side to Charlie Hayes. 11.24 to go here in period number three. Four nothing for the Chippewas. And we have an icing call on the Chippewas and Tyler Cataline is not happy with the officials here. It looked like it was dumped in by Simon Selly, or by, pardon me, not by Simon Selly, by Baker uh, after he had reached the red line, but the linesman adjudged otherwise. So we'll have a draw on the Chippewa end. They'll win it and wrap it around. It is unable to be kept in there. And now tied up is Cooper with his man. If anything, that's a penalty on the Chippewas and the Chippewa bench was not happy that it wasn't called on the Panthers. Puck free at the line, it's poked, poked ahead. Taking that, here's Calso. Calso over the line into the right circle, a shot! Off of a bouncing puck was kicked away by the right pad of Colin Smith. It's moved out to center ice, taken there by the Panthers. Nice toe drag to get around the defense by Kelso, but he loses the puck as a result and it's sent back into the Davenport end. Right to left come the Panthers here. Just over, just under halfway gone through this third period. It's played back in the Chippewa end, 10.30 to go here in period number three. Uh, one touch pass ahead from Simon Sully was intercepted and the Panthers send that right back down behind Cullen Smith. Chapman had the feet taken out from under him. As the puck comes free to the free behind the net, Chapman wanting a penalty, but he's not going to get one. And now here come the, pan, or the Chippewas left and right. Here's McComas. McComas into the right circle, working in a shot. He was taken down by a poke check by Shade Shearer. McComas wanting a penalty. He's pinned up in the corner, works it up top for Chapman. A shot went right, went wide to the right side. Here it's picked up by Porzondek. Porzondek works to the top of the slot. A shot through traffic. Sheridan didn't sit in the last second. Luckily for him, it went wide. And the Panthers take it and wrap it. And down the ice. Where icing is waved off as it went too slowly. And Chapman leads the rush. Tipped into the offensive end by Nadu. Across the way, the Panthers pick it up. An outlet pass was tipped into the zone here by Fairfield. Chapman cross-checked in the back by Fairfield, leaving the Panthers to pick up the change. Right point, here's Crowley, near side Dion. Dion, oh, the shot go through traffic, bucked out in front. And we have a penalty on the Chippewas here. And we gotta be careful, Thomas, or Justin McComas does, and 
We're going to get another penalty here as he slashes the stick out of the hands of Cutter Osborne. So the penalty is going to be a hooking call on the Chippewas here. 10.50 into this third period. Headed to the box is number 11, Kyle Chapman. So the Panthers will have their second power play opportunity of the night on the year. They are 0 for 4 for the Chippewas. They have a, they've had a good start to their penalty killing season. They are 4 for 4 in their, through their first two games. Draw one by the Chippewas. They can't keep it in at the line though. Taking there's Gottfriedson on the left side. We have the puck poked away from Vincent down the length of the ice. So a hooking call on Chapman. We'll, put, we'll keep the Panthers on the power play here for the second time this afternoon. A puck free in the right wing corner of the Panther and the Chippewa shorthanded four check here. Manned by Keegan Moore. Get, kept at the line here by Kostnick. Kostnick pinned up along the boards. That'll free the puck here for Chance Bradley with speed over the line left side. Oh, work into the left wing circle. Looking for a pass. He's got Gottfriedson at the point. Home work that down to, Ch to Bradley. Chance Bradley up top to Gottfriedson left point. Hold, hold, a minute to go here on the power play. Puck loose in the slot, a shot. That went wide, and the rebound is cleared up to the point, but not out. Crowley keeps it in. We'll set it near side for Bradley. Bradley able to keep it in. Down low to Gottfriedson. Gottfriedson putting it behind the net for Osborne. Osborne playing catch with Crowley. Osborne controls. Hold back, can that pass to the far side up to Crowley, top of the slot. Hold, tee it up, and slap the pass over to Lizziness across the way. 35 to go on the power play. Up top to Crowley. Crowley sends it down low. It's intercepted by Brennan Martin. He's got a shorthanded chance here. He's got one man back, and Lizziness can't get around him, but he'll pick it up in the left circle. He'll pin it to the boards, see if he can kill some more time here with 18 seconds to go on the man advantage. Davenport picks it up. They'll shovel it down. Into, the, into neutral ice, and Alex Lasky will corral it at his own line. Picking it up there is McComas. McComas sends it down the length of the ice. It was tipped, and it's corralled by Gazdecki. Gazdecki from a sharp angle, let a shot go. It was partially blocked there, and it goes slight, and it rolls in on Shearer. Gazdecki getting into it. Just a couple of words exchanged with the Davenport players at the side of the net. Justin McComas in there as well for the maroon and gold. He's still having a somewhat heated conversation. He's being pulled away by his teammates. He's gonna go off for a line change. Before the draw, commences play in the right wing circle of the Davenport end. Gazdecki wins the draw cleanly, but it was too far for Charlie Hayes at the line. It'll go all the way back to the central Michigan end. Charlie Hayes back there, play it, he'll play it off of the boards. Chippewas leading 4-0 here with just over, uh, just over 13 minutes gone here in this third period. Now pass in front, Flynn, a shot from the backhand in the bottom of the left circle is denied there by Shade Shearer making a pretty dandy save on the Central Michigan forward to keep things at a four goal deficit. Drawing the left wing circle now for the Panthers. They will win it defensively. That's wrapped around the boards to the near side. Where it is chopped out there by Schalk. Schalk is able to get it to the line and past Gazdecki where Lasky will pick it up. Lasky had it knocked away from him. Delayed off sides here on the Panthers. They won't touch it. It's played out to neutralize. By the Chippewas. Back in the Davenport end. Long stretch pass was intercepted and cut off there by Hayes, he'll move it to Lasky, he'll slap it, a bouncing puck comes behind Shearer, over to the far corner, puck free in the circle, picked up by the Chippewas, near side Flynn, Hayden Flynn will slap that down, Hayden Dion moved it ahead, here's Tolsdorf, he'll reach the line, uh, let a shot go, it skittered along the ice and went wide, 
The po it was poked at by Colin Smith, but he missed it. Now moving ahead, here's Campbell, right wing circle. Campbell with speed will take it into the right wing corner. Puck comes free across the way. Campbell picks it up in the left corner, looking for a pass opportunity. He'll send it across to Chapman. He'll tee it up and fire a shot, tipped and score! In front, that was Keegan Moore tipping it home to the five hole. Of Shade Shearer, 5 0 Chippewas. Here with, four, with 14 27 gone in the third period. Keegan Moore was able to get a stick on that in front. Chapman. Chapman with the. Uh, Shot from the point that was deflected in front by Moore. And the Chippewas lead this thing now by a five goal margin. Moving up the line. Gottfriedson moves it into the corner. It's sent over to the far corner. A massive cross check in the back. How do you not call that? The referee's standing right in front of it. And it's moved up to the point. Now a shot is tipped. Owen Campbell getting the second assist. On the night is a shot from the point, and there's could be a scrum here in front, and there is. As the Panthers are getting, there's a Panther right in the midst of four Chippewas in the crease. Now, Carter Osborne gives an extra shove to Chapman, which he crashed the net hard. There might be a penalty here on uh, Osborne, but, and there will be. Two opposite numbers, Campbell and Osborne going to the box here with 4.56 to go. So at the 15.04 mark, Campbell and two Panthers to the box. We'll wait to see what the penalties are assessed here at the 15.04 mark of this third period of play. So two minutes to Campbell. And it looks like, or pardon me, two, two minutes to Osborne here as he goes off. That'll put the Chippewas on the power play. They're five on four. We'll wait to hear the announcement on the other two penalties. And Campbell off, and Osborne off. He might get two, and another Panther off, so it's five on four. Those two of those penalties canceling each other out. In the offensive zone draw won by the Chippewas. Here's Brennan Martin feeding it across off a skate, and it was deflected just wide. Now Simon Sully up top to Martin. Martin sending it down low near side. To Cooper up to Martin, a shot and a glove save by the by Shade Shearer in net for the Panthers. Here's side, here's Cooper sending it across. That deflected off a skate, loose puck in the slot, and it's kicked behind the net. Puck comes free to the side of the net. Panthers are able to get it out and send it the length of the ice as they're on the penalty kill. Icing is not applicable. 122 to go in the Chippewa power play. They're 0 for 1 tonight. Moving through center ice, here's Brennan Martin over the line. He'll move it into the left circle. Working around the outside of it and behind the net near to the near corner. Martin, no pressure by the Panthers here. They're content to let the, now pass across. Simon Sully up top. A shot, leaving the rebound and it's cleared by the Panthers. So we're off to Owen Campbell. We're off to Owen Campbell, a slash to Osborne and a slash to Lizzie, or a rough to Lizzie Ness. Chippewa's going to work the offensive end here. Here's a shot up top off the stick of Christopher Martin, it was blocked. Here's Lasky, top of the slot, sends it over to uh, 
Sends it over to Simon Selly near side for Cooper. Cooper working to the right point across. He's got Chapman, or pardon me, Martin. Martin, but it's a shot go deflected in front and it's cleared by the Panthers with five to go on the man advantage. That should just about do it as the Panthers kill off the penalty and the Chippewas fall to 0 for 2 on the night and, and 2 for 7 on the campaign. That's moved out to center ice. The Panthers are slapped that back in. They lose, the Chippewas lose uh, control of the puck and the Panthers look to go to work here behind the net. Knocked off the puck there was Hofstetter in the right corner. It slapped to the near side. Chippewas control, 2.27 to go here. In period number three, Chippewas lead this one 5-0. Working behind the net, Kevin Crowley puts on the brakes as the Panthers move right to left on the breakout here. Out ahead to, to, to Calso. Calso left circle. Spin around shot was blocked by Charlie Hayes. He'll send it across the way. 2.05 to go here in period number three. Two minutes to go here in regulation. Moving it out. Here's Porzondik. Porzondik let a shot go. And it's gobbled up by Shade Shearer, who was buzzed there by. Uh, Justin McComas. He wanted a penalty maybe for unsportsmanlike conduct, but McComas was just crashing the net and was avoiding uh, Shade Shearer. Definitely would have, pen would have been a penalty if he just ran straight into him, so we'll take that end result. Now Charlie Hayes, a one-timer off the draw, was ripped high and wide to the near side. Panthers are able to clear it out. Charlie Hayes with 1.43 to go here in, in the contest. It's sent back to the Panther line across the way. It's taken there by Dion. Dion sends it near side, moving out. Here's Tolsdorf. Tolsdorf had his pass intercepted, and McComas moves back the other way. McComas splits the defense, moves in, off of the post, and the rebound is cleared. Shearer was down and out. McComas laid it off the pipe. Now the puck is loose in the left corner. It's cleared to the far side, taken there by Kiefer. Kiefer lost the puck up top. Nadu, it's kept in by the, by the Chippewas and a shot from the left point. Off of the stick of Chapman is gloved down calmly by the Panther netminder for a halt in play. 18.50 at the 8.50, 18.58 mark of this Third period, 40 to eight, the shots on goal for the Chippewas. Uh, <laughs> Davenport's only had a one shot on goal in this third period. Draw on the left wing circle. Chippewas win it up top. Baker, his pass down low was deflected up and out of play by the Panthers, so we'll have another halt to play at 9 19.02 of this third. Draw on the left wing circle. Digging in for it is Simon Selly. He's able to win the draw, but the Chippewas can't hold the line. It's fired right back in. Crowley picks it up off of the end boys to lay it off sides against the Chippewas here. Three quarters of a minute to go. Here in regulation, Chippewas lead this thing 5-0. Working out right to left. It was Chance Bradley who was worked over, and the Chippewas are able to intercept his pass at their own line. Working back in the defensive end, two on left. Chippewas across, 28 to go here. In period number three. Moving out, here's Simon Sully over the line. Simon Sully moves around the defense, works in. He tried to roof it, it went over the top of the net. 18 to go. Moving out, the Panthers trying here to get a goal in the final seconds. They'll move it in, it is cleared by Brennan Martin. And out to center ice. Seven seconds to go, Panthers control back it. Their own Ed, Aiden Dion will hold, and the Chippewas knock off the Panthers, and Colin Smith gets his first career shutout in a Chippewa uniform in his first career start. And we have some extracurriculars after the game with Jordan Cooper getting into it with Gottfriedson in the Panther end, but Nothing will come of that. The game has finished. The Chippewas win this thing 5-0 over the Davenport Panthers. We'll step aside, come back for a 
and a brief post-game show here on the Chippewa Club Hockey Network.
Well, 2-0 has certainly a nice ring to it as we bring you back here inside Patterson Ice Center for one final time here this afternoon as the Central Michigan Chippewas knock off the Davenport Panthers by a final score of 5-0. Let's talk about how we got to this point with that 5-0 win. Uh, these, the Chippewas started things off only 43 seconds into the hockey game as Owen Campbell streaked down the right side and into the right wing circle. He tried to split the defense but lost the puck in the process. Isaac Gibbs, who was going with him down the left side, was in the right place at the right time and slammed home the puck past uh, Shade Shearer for Gibbs's second goal of the campaign. That came at 43 seconds of the first period. And that is... All CMU would do for that first period. Uh, they did have a chance on the power play at 4:12, a five-minute opportunity at that. Uh, as Gottfriedson went off five minutes for boarding at 4:12, Central couldn't do anything with that one, uh, so they fell for over one on the on the uh, power play at least through the first period of play. 20 sec with 20 seconds left in that opening frame. Uh, Osborne and McComas went off uh, simultaneously. McComas went off for unsportsmanlike conduct. Osborne went off for a slash. So we had four on four for the next two minutes. Um, one minute and 40 seconds of which were in period number two. Shots on goal through that first period were 15 to four in favor of Central Michigan. And that was a trend that continued all night as uh, Central Michigan ended up out shooting uh, uh, Davenport by a final by a f uh, by a uh, margin of well over of well of actually by a factor of five forty to eight. Uh, so the Chippewas dominated Davenport in the shots on goal category. Moving on to the second period, Brennan Martin had a nice clean shot from the top of the left circle uh, at, four, four, at the 4.14 mark. Uh, the assist went to Campbell, and he snuck it on the far side. That was the second goal of the afternoon, 2 nothing in favor of Central Michigan. Then, uh, then at... Uh, then at 11.01 of the second, Hayden Flynn broke down the left side on outlet pass from Hayes, worked around the outside of the left circle and snuck it short side pass Shearer to make it 3-0. Then at 1328, we had a uh, interesting turn of events. Austin Whaley uh, elbowed, or he elbowed, it was uh, Carter Os or it was actually Colin Fairfield in the head along the boards just inside the Central Michigan line. Uh, that led to in two minutes for interference for Whaley and a game misconduct for him. So he he uh, spent the rest of the day off of the ice and in the locker room. However, that five minute major was cut short by two minutes as. Uh, as Aiden Dion slashed Whaley in retaliation, and he paid for it with two minutes in the box, and that made it, instead of a five-minute all-you-can-eat power play for the Panthers, only a three-minute power play, and that certainly uh, cut their power play efforts a bit short as they couldn't get anything done. They fell to 0 for 1 on the night. Where And then at the conclusion of that second period, well, actually, pardon, on that four-on-four, four, uh, McComas was able to pick, uh, was able to take, uh, up, or was was able to take advantage of a loose puck in front, courtesy of Shade Shearer, who poke checked it right into the or poke checked the pass from Jay Nadu in the corner, right to the stick of McComas in front, and he buried it past Shearer to make it four nothing. And that is how we would stand at the end of two at the conclusion of 40 minutes. Uh, Kevin Crowley and Hayes got into it a bit in front of the Davenport, and they would both get coincidental minors for unsportsmanlike conduct, and that would put us four on four for the next two minutes in uh, in the third period. Shots on goal in that second period uh, were 11 to three in favor of Davenport, and that made it 26 to seven in the uh, in the game up to that point central michigan was able to get one final goal uh in that third period but not er, but not before uh chapman went off for a hook to put uh to put the panthers on the power play they couldn't convert then 
at 15.04. We had a slew of penalties. Campbell uh, went off for roughing at 15.04. Osborne went off for a slash, and Lizziness went off for a slash. The Osborne penalty was not uh, canceled out, uh, and so it was a uh, five-on-four power play for Central Michigan. They couldn't convert, and the final sc- and and so they went 0 for 1 in that third period, as did the Panthers. One goal in that third period uh, went to uh, number 10, Keelan Baker. Er, pardon me. Uh, actually went to Keegan Moore on the Cisco to Chapman and Campbell. That goal came at 14:27 to make it 5-0 in favor of the Chippewas. And that is how things would end here from Patterson Ice Center. 14 to 1. The shots on goal in that third period. Davenport only getting one. So the final is a total of 42. Eight. Taking a look at our players to watch, only one of our five players to watch made a dent on the score sheet. Brennan Martin had the second goal of the... Uh, yeah, Brennan Martin had the second goal of the afternoon for the Chippewas. He is the only player to watch out of Cooper Martin, uh, Christopher Martin, Aiden Dion, and Kevin Crowley to uh, touch the score sheet. Well, the Chippewas basically nailed all of the uh, keys to the game. They didn't... Uh, they didn't uh, let up a power play goal, so their penalty kill remains flawless through the first two games. Uh, they didn't let up. They obviously won 5 nothing. Davenport put up a little bit more of a fight, but the Chippewa is still able to put up a five spot on them. Uh, they did a good job through the, at least the first period of keeping their cool. Things got a little out of hand later in the game, but uh, overall, Chippewas were able to uh, stay out of the box uh, for... A majority of the game and not give a ton of chances to Davenport. Three stars of the game with his first career win and his first career appearance and his first career shutout. Uh, Colin Smith made eight saves in the appearance. He gets the third star of the game. If he had made a couple of more saves, probably would have uh, been a little further up on our list. But that eight saves makes it a third star. Uh, third star. Uh, performance. Uh, Isaac Gibbs gets the game-winning goal at 43 seconds into the hockey game. He slots in at our second star and our first star of the game, Owen Campbell, with three assists, including uh, Martin, or including on Isaac Gibbs' tally uh, to uh, cap off this win. Next game, Central Michigan uh, takes on Florida Gulf Coast uh, two Saturdays from now at 4 p.m. We will have that game right here for you on the C- on CCHN. Meanwhile, Davenport uh, travels to Michigan State next weekend for an 8.30 face-off at, uh, at Mon Ice Arena. Taking a look uh, finally at the out-of-town scoreboard again, the Griffins in action next or two, sad, two Saturdays from now on the 16th against Rockford Ice Hogs. The Spirit starting their uh, Starting their season the uh, the Saturday after the Griffins uh, against Erie and the Red Wings in action today against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Well, that will just about do it for us this evening, but we will be back on the 16th for the game against Florida Gulf Coast. Until then, this is Reagan Cleve saying so long from Patterson Ice Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as the Central Michigan Chippewas beat the Davenport Panthers in shutout fashion by a final score of 